Renee Romeo of ReneeRomeo.com and I'm here today to show you how to decorate a chandelier for the holidays. It's a great way to bring a little extra festivity over the table where you're going to dine for the holidays. So join me and I'll show you exactly what you need. I have 48 inches of bendable wire garland and my version is very dense and it has little pine cones attached to it as well. I also have 11 bendable wire little sprigs of greenery and they also have some pine cones attached. You can use things like berries if you'd like, uh, but it does need to be bendable wire. I have ribbon tied in a bow and I have assorted ornaments. Let's talk safety first. I've inspected the top of the chandelier making sure that it is really nice and tight to the ceiling. Make sure yours is, tighten any screws that might be a little bit loose because you're going to be turning the chandelier around as you get going and you don't want this thing to fall on you. So secondly, you need to turn off the power to this light and that means going beyond the switch and going to the power box and making sure that your power is off to this chandelier. If it's not, you're using wire in some of your ornaments here and so you don't want to be electrocuted when you're moving these things in and around or placing things on top of the chandelier. So make sure your power is off. So my chandelier has nine arms and I'm just taking my individual garland piece and I'm just going to be wedging it in between all of the little shades and kind of pressing this down into place. Now I'm being a little bit rough with it um, because I don't have a whole lot of space here and I'm just going to twist it as I go. So being careful not to over twist because you really could unscrew this from the top and you don't want to do that. So I'm just being real careful and cautious as I go. Now I have the two ends and I'm going to just butt them up next to each other and just twist a couple of these together so that it looks like it's all one piece. And I'm just going to fluff all of these individual branches out so it's nice and full looking. I'm taking the individual strands and I'm just going to wrap these around this little circular piece up here, like so. Keeping this in place is really important, so you kind of need to weave this in and around all of these little pieces. And fortunately, with these little strands, you can kind of take the individual branches and, you know, push them around each individual little scroll here and get them nice and secure and then I'll repeat it on the other side. So I've started with the sprigs and I'm just taking a piece like this and I'm bending the wire up and I'm making sure that they're all standing up straight and I'm just going to insert it in between each and every one of these scrolls and have it travel up the chain. I'm taking the remaining sprigs and I'm actually moving them around the bottom here so that way I can cover up all these little pieces of wire that are peeking out of the bottom that I don't want to see. And I'm taking the very top pieces here and I'm just going to wire them straight to the chain. I've got a very, very thin green wire here that I'm using. So one thing I don't do very well is tie a florist bow. So I'm just going to show you how I did it. You know, I am no expert at this at all. So I've just kind of taken this and kind of flipped it over. Um, you know, you can kind of see how I'm going back and forth here. It's, it's going to be okay. Um, just for this purpose, it's okay because it's going to be um, actually hidden inside and tucked into the greenery. So I'm just going to tie this off with a little bit of the green wire. And it's not going to look all that wonderful, but wait until I get it up there, it'll look fine. And I'm just placing the bow right in the very center of the chandelier. It's just for color. It really doesn't need to be a perfect bow because no one's going to see it straight on. And I think 10 to 12 of each type of ornament is just enough for this size chandelier. So this chandelier is about 36 wide by maybe 36 tall. And that's probably all you need. You don't really need a whole lot. If this is a very inexpensive project, really when it comes down to it. So it's a great way to spend a little money and have a lot of impact. 
Don't be afraid to use large scale ornaments. This is really what makes it look successful. I've got these reindeer here, they're plastic, they're larger scale, and I'm just going to push these into the landscape of the greenery, and you'll see it makes a much larger impact when you have all of these larger scale ornaments, and then I'll put the smaller ones on next. Now I'm putting on the smallest ones, and these are a little contrast to what's going on here, just to try to get this to pop a little bit. And you know, one of the secrets is, if you just if you take an ornament and just do this, it's not going to be that impactful, and actually you're going to see the top of the ornament, and I don't think you wanna see that. So really make sure that when you get your ornament in there, just you know, try to wedge it in as far and as tight as you possibly can, so that it looks like you're just viewing the bottom of the ornament. And you can kind of manipulate these little things around. You see how much nicer this looks when you actually incorporate it into the greenery? Now I'll just twist this so you can see what it looks like when it's all done. It's nicely evenly covered with ornaments. It was very fast, very easy to do. Do this for yourself for the holidays, and anyone that sits at your table will appreciate you for it and bring a little extra festive cheer to the occasion. This is Renee Romeo at ReneeRomeo.com. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time.